hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video we're going to discuss about everything about ferrite bead so uh, we'll discuss the definition of ferrite bead how to use the ferrite bead and what is the application of ferrite beads so uh, let's discuss what is ferrite bead so as uh, these bloggers mentioned here it has all the three properties it is a inductor it is a capacitor and resistors at different different frequencies right so when we go for the selection of ferrite bead it has the resistance and frequency right and how we will select the ferrite bead so let's discuss these plots here so this is the impedance cross frequency plot right and using those plot we basically select which ferrite bead is suitable for our application so before going further here i just want to show you guys how you guys can order your first zero dollar pcb from nextpcb.com and how you can apply five dollar coupon so click over the first link given in the description register yourself with your official mail id if you guys have already registered just click over the login and fill your mail id and password and there are just after the session you will give uh, you'll get a five dollar coupon right now i will show you how you can order your zero dollar pcb 10 number of quantities go to the home fill all the dimensions of your pcb select the quantity to 10 go to the court now and here fill all the information select the first option with zero dollar select your country and select the local china post mail and then you can sell you can able to select either you want to order assembly or not add your gaba files and here you'll see this screen for gaba verification after that you'll get mail from the sales team and here you can see the five dollar coupon you have applied and you can order your 10 number of pcbs just 11 dollars so guys just proceed the payment and now we can continue our tutorial uh, let's discuss where we use ferrite bead and what is the application of ferrite bead right so we will use ferrite bead to remove noise from our circuit and obviously it removes the high frequency noise and it removes noise in the form of heat right and uh, we all know that yeah, out of inductor capacitor and resistor the resistors have the capability to generate the heat when the amount of current will flow through it right so similarly we will use ferrite bead when its resistance property because it has all three uh, characteristics right capacitor inductor and resistor so we'll use uh, the ferrite bead uh, for its resistive property right so uh, as you can see here it has three bands one is its impedance inductance and resistive band and here you can see when the imp uh, when the resistive band is higher than the impedance band in this frequency region in this 100 to 1000 megahertz frequency region we can use this ferrite bead for removing the this frequency noise right so it will just remove this uh, this noise uh, in the amount of heat again uh, so simply uh, how we select the uh, the ferrite bead we'll simply select the manufacturer suppose we want to use the ferrite bead from uh, you can say worth electronics right so what we'll do we'll just select go to the data sheet of that particular part number or you can say the serial number of uh, ferrite bead and there we'll observe the plots and we will see at what impedance at what impedance the resistive property is higher for the frequency right so like here you can see it's around 200 to 300 uh, ohm impedance the resistive property is dominating right for 1000 megahertz and uh, and uh, uh, 1000 megahertz right so here we'll use 220 ohm at 100 megahertz frequency right so that's how we select the uh, ferrite bit if you guys have any question you can ask in the comment section and uh, here i made a cheat sheet for the ferrite bit selection you can simply download download it from the link given in the description thank you